Steve and Salty Ham. I'm uh, here to show you a real cool video today. I've made a uh, Baofeng repeater box that I've used for camping before. And it works great. I really like it. Um, but I wanted, I wanted a little, something a little bit more power and uh, better antenna for transmitting. So what I did is uh, I bought a 2 meter amplifier from B-Tech. It is the AMP25. Uh, gives you about 40 watts of output power from a 2 to 6 watt drive input. So I'm going to go over the uh, repeater setup here first. So this is the receive radio, which right now is connected to the receive antenna out here. This is the transmit radio, which I have currently attached to the amplifier right here. And we'll go over the amplifier a little bit more later on. I, um, I do plan on mounting this inside of here, but it's going to be a little bit. Uh, so I've got it disconnected up right here. Um, the red and black on the 13.8 uh, volt output. And then I've got a... Uh, battery eliminator connected to this UV5R that also uh, is plugged into there right now um, the way that this works is the uh, this is Baofeng repeater box basically what it does is let your receive radio talk to your transmit radio as it's receiving while this is receiving since this is your transmit radio it's receiving from your regular receive radio which is receiving the incoming signal as this is receiving that signal from there through this box with the vox uh, turned on it lets it retransmit it on a separate frequency through the amplifier and you can run it at like a low power and it should be able to uh, power the amplifier just fine Amplifier will is connected to uh, and two meter and uh, Slim Jim roll up Slim Jim antenna I have outside, and uh, I'll cut off here to uh, show you uh, what I was testing it. KF zero FDV testing one two three two one. So I wanted to go over just the amplifier itself. This is what we got going here. It's actually a pretty good amplifier so far. It's B-Tech Amp 25, 30 to 40 watts of output power, which is kind of cool because it's only two to six watts input. So you can run your UV5R at uh, full power and be able to get uh, 30 to 40 watts out of uh, coming out of your amplifier there. So, there's the manual. It's pretty good manual. It's not like anything spectacular because it's pretty easy to set up and self-explanatory uh, once you start getting into it. There are a few uh, different kinds that you could get. That's what uh, these are right here. So, if you want to pause that and check those out and see what those do, um, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty good. Um, I had ordered this uh, for I think it was uh, one shipped for about $147 not bad uh, because you know keeps your gets your radio going out there if you want to be able to have it as a base station radio also so you got your uh, K connector K connector into this part of the amplifier goes into the radio and that gives you uh, the push to talk control from the handset that uh, comes with the amplifier. So the amplifier also has a speaker on it. And uh, that's what also goes through uh, the K connector cable is your sound. So you can get the sound out through the amplifier speaker. Right here it comes with a supplied um, cable to go uh, coax little small coax goes and plugs into the back and so does the antenna that is outside 
I've it also comes with a uh, the standard cigarette lighter plug-in um, it only draws 5.5 watts uh, I do believe that's what it said uh, from the amplifier when it's transmitting so one of these is just fine to use but I'm probably not going to use it until I put it into the repeater box and uh, until then I'm running uh, off of here onto the uh, post connectors on the power supply so let's check this out real quick this uh, repeater frequency I have plugged in right now is uh, about 20 miles away I do believe um, give or take but uh, we got right there you see come up now this repeater doesn't really talk back to you unless it's uh, identifying or it's been a really long time since anybody has transmitted anything so obviously somebody had been on there a little while ago and transmitted uh, so it's it's going to be a minute before it does anything uh, to talk back but it did hit the repeater if you notice the red light that came on on the box um, while it was transmitting it also comes on on the radio it shows that the radio is transmitting all in all great uh, a great amplifier so far i'm liking it i can't wait to get it into the repeater box so i will go over how the uh the repeater build uh all the components and everything i'll go over that in a different video i just wanted to get this one in show you um what i do with my camping uh repeater it keeps me in touch with uh my girlfriend whenever we go out camping or uh anybody that i know if we go and they're licensed also um then they use it also but it keeps me in touch with uh with people when we're outdoors doing things so um like i said i will go over the uh components and everything of the uh, baofeng briefcase repeater on a uh, later video but uh thanks for checking this out um seven three i'll talk to you later